This is San Diego News Daily. I'm Monica Dean. Let's get right into your top local stories. The Escondido Union School District closed some of its libraries following a complaint about sexually explicit material. The district, which is made up of 23 schools, is not naming the book or books in question. They say reviewing book collections is a routine practice that's done to offer newer collections. However, some parents are upset and they want more information. Shouldn't we have like transparency? If books are being reviewed, what's the guidelines for being reviewed? Um, what books are going to be removed from our shelves? Like, shouldn't all the books be allowed to be on the shelves? There should be some process and it should be transparent to parents and members of the community of what's going to be taken off our kids' library shelves. The superintendent said the libraries would reopen once the audit is complete no later than October 6th. Mayor Todd Gloria led a rally this morning urging Governor Newsom to sign a bill that will make it easier to get severely mental ill individuals and addicts into care. Right now, conservatorship is only an option when a person cannot care for their basic needs like shelter and clothing. The new law would expand this to situations where a person cannot take care of their medical needs or their personal safety is at risk. Last year, Governor Newsom championed care court to guarantee treatment for those in crisis before their needs are so great that they must be conserved because they're unable to care for themselves. Right now, the governor has the opportunity to bring our conservatorship laws into the 21st century and get help for those who so desperately need it by signing Senate Bill 43. The mayor previously called for new conservatorship laws in his 2022 state of the city. Soon, the city could have quicker hiring processes. Right now, it takes an average of seven months to fill some positions. And some San Diego leaders are pushing for a new approach. Not everyone's happy about it, though. Here's the backstory. Council member Marty Von Wilpert supports a 2024 ballot measure, which would amend the city charter and have the personnel department report directly to the mayor's office. Right now, that department reports to a civil service commission, which operates independently. Supporters say the change would speed up hiring. The former president of the commission tells us the purpose of the group is to ensure city workers are hired based on merit and nothing else. I think um, the independence of it is very important for the city and to ensure the civil service, they just want to do their jobs. It, that, you know, po politicians come and go, politics swing both ways, but ultimately my job uh, with the commission was to make sure that we maintain that independence and meritocracy system. Von Wilpert says that the ballot measure would also increase the power of the Civil Service Commission. It would have more commissioners who would still be able to investigate any reports of nepotism or bias. In a few days, care courtrooms will begin across the state. Seven counties, including San Diego, are introducing the program where judges will order treatment plans for people with severe mental illness. The program is restricted to those suffering from mental conditions like schizophrenia. Participants must be 18 and most importantly, must want the care. Some local families admit they have concerns about the voluntary requirement. We want to, you know, right the homeless problem. If we want to help people whose family members are, whose families are actually asking for help, we're going to need to have some sort of involuntary care for people. According to the Regional Task Force on Homelessness, nearly one third of homeless people in San Diego are experiencing mental health issues. The county anticipates getting about a thousand petitions in the first year, with at least one third of them meeting requirements for a care plan. NBC7's Brooke Martel joins us now with a look at your forecast. Hi, Brooke. Hey there, here's a look at your daytime highs on this Thursday. We are trending down just a little bit, but this will continue through the upcoming weekend. We have a cold front moving through that low pressure system we've been talking about, bringing the cooler temperatures and a chance of rain. But for today, low 70s at the coast with those cloudy skies throughout the morning, 70s to about the mid 80s over your inland valleys. We have mid 70s for Julian, low 80s for Pine Valley, Borrego Springs still trending right around those triple digits. Thank you. Still ahead, a summer vacation turned into a nightmare for an Arizona family when a freak accident nearly cost a man his life. We'll introduce you to the local first responder who came to their rescue. NBC7 and Telemundo 20 Response is dedicated to helping you. You guys were able to get a different result. I have so much gratitude. Whether it's in Spanish or English, 
where one team, one team, investigating, getting answers, making sure every phone call, every email gets a response. Because this isn't just our job. This is our community too. And we're here to help. NBC7 and Telemundo 20 Response. One team fighting for you and your money. This is San Diego News Daily. I'm Monica Dean. Welcome back. A summer vacation turned into a nightmare for an Arizona family when a freak accident nearly cost a man his life. As NBC7's Audra Stafford explains, some local heroes not only saved him, but possibly some of his family members as well. This area is one Tim Gagan will likely never forget. It was here near the intersection of Voltaire and Warden that he suffered the scare of a lifetime. A scare that nearly ended the 69 year old's life. Back in June, as Gagan was riding his bike in Point Loma, his heart just suddenly stopped. I collapsed just up the street here. Thankfully, some people saw it happen, called 911 and started CPR. And soon after, paramedics took over and got him to the hospital. Today, pretty much fully recovered at Fire Station 15 in Ocean Beach, Gagan reunited with the firefighters, dispatcher and ambulance crew who saved his life but he's still hoping to find those good Samaritans who jumped into action that day. You know, obviously say thank you. I mean, let them know that they made a huge difference in at least one person's life and that, uh, you know, not people don't always step up. And the fact that they did that, I, I just want to say thanks. Though he doesn't actually remember what happened that day, Gagan says he will never forget everyone who came together to make sure he'd see many more days. From Point Loma, I'm Audra Stafford, NBC7. Surging gas prices are headed towards San Diego's all time record. The average went up to 11 cents overnight. Right now, a gallon of regular will cost you $6.21 on average. Prices have increased 84 cents in the past month. We're only 22 cents shy of the record that was set last October of $6.43 per gallon. The price increase is hitting especially hard for rideshare drivers who pay out of their own pocket for gas. Lyft said in a statement that platinum drivers can get as much as 32 cents a gallon back through the Lyft Rewards program. Meanwhile, the Auto Club of Southern California says prices will continue to rise until the expected drop at the end of October. By the time these uh, refineries are back online, we should be uh, paying for that winter blend gasoline. So once that happens by the end of October, we are going to be paying around 25 to 30 cents less uh, per gallon. Uber and Lyft drivers with whom we spoke say if gas prices continue to go up, they might have to scale back on shifts or stop driving altogether. NBC7's Brooke Martell will have a look at your weather forecast right after this. NBC7 and Telemundo 20 deliver forecasts that are not just accurate, but the most accurate. Los más acertados. In San Diego. San Diego's biggest team of meteorologists with the most advanced technology delivering the updates you need when you want them in English y en español because San Diego weather is more than just 75 and sunny and when changes are on the way our first alert weather team is here to help you prepare NBC 7 and Telemundo 20 first alert weather we have some big changes on the way as we look ahead to Friday and into your weekend. Taking a look here at the future weather pattern with this low pressure system to our north and a cold front that will move through. Once this happens really Friday into Saturday, you'll notice it temperature wise, but we also have a chance of rain. So here's a look at the two day microclimate forecast. You can see we'll have cloudy skies to end the week here, but then starting the weekend, we'll have chances for rain off and on across the county. Plus we'll have those cooler temperatures. Thank you, Brooke. The future price for orange juice just hit a record high of $3.69 per 16 ounces as of Tuesday morning. That is almost an 80% rise over the last year. Hurricanes and bad weather in Florida have caused production to plummet and prices to skyrocket. The state produced its lowest orange crop in nearly 80 years, and other exporters like Brazil and Mexico face similar problems. Bruce Springsteen is postponing his tour, including a stop here in San Diego due to illness. The 74 year old is continuing to recover from peptic ulcer disease. All his shows are postponed until next year, including his December 2nd appearance at Pachanga Arena. More coverage you count on at NBC7.com. Thanks for watching.